Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. All right, so I'm here to talk about something that's super important to me and that I get asked all the time, especially for those of you that are thinking quitting a job, starting a blogging business. So here I am. I'm gonna tell you the five things, literally five things, I wish somebody would have told me before I started doing what I do today. Now, don't get me wrong, doesn't mean I don't love what I do. I love what I do, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity that I have to travel the world and write about it and create content and share it with you guys. The fact that you guys love it too even boggles my mind. <laughs> Joke, huh? Vlogging, okay. So I'm gonna give you the five things I wish I knew before I started vlogging. Are you ready? And you have to watch the whole video to the very end because the last one is the most important one. Promise, it is the most important one. And I know people say it, but it really is the most important thing that you need to know in order to, to be a vlogger. Okay, so ready? Number one, it is a lot of work. <laughs> like. I think somebody told that to me right before I started blogging, but I didn't really like pay attention or actually think about it. It is a lot of work to start a blog. First of all, you have to create a blog. So it's not just like, it doesn't just pop up out of nowhere. If you know how to code, good for you, congratulations. Hats off, you're a step better than I was because I didn't know shit. So I had to teach myself everything. And of course, I chose one of the hardest programs to teach yourself how to create a website and that was WordPress. But once you figure it out, it gets a lot easier. So it takes a lot of work to create a blog, an actual physical blog, putting it together, finding the colors, the logos, deciding what you want to see, what should be on it, and you don't actually think about it until you're actually doing it. And then, that's probably the easy part now. It's actually maintaining that blog. So keeping up with security, uh, keeping up with content, writing content. And when you write content, you write it. Then you edit it. Then you go back and put in the pictures. Then you put in the keywords. It is a lot of work to become a blogger. Let's not even talk about being a YouTuber. I'm gonna have to create another video on that one. I don't know why I'm doing both. Okay. Anyways, let's get to number two. It doesn't have to be perfect. Excuse me. Ma. Okay. Anyways, so let's get back to it. It was that you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. Like, I wish somebody honestly would have told me that, and that's something that I really, for those of you that are considering being a blogger, keep this. A YouTuber, a blogger, an influencer, whatever the heck you want to call it. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? It, you just have to get it out. You just have to publish it. The article, the video, the photos, just get it out. Number three. <laughs> this is my favorite one. <laughs> Listen up, people. <laughs> this is really good. Um, at the end of the day, this is a business. Any way you look at it, blogging, influencing, Instagrammers, YouTubers, it is a business. And you can reach out to influencers, other influencers, and some will be helpful because some have. And I can't say that the people that I reached out to when I first started blogging weren't helpful because they absolutely were. But also remember that it is a business and they may or may not be your competitors. And to them, they don't like them. So, not everyone will be nice. Remember that. Yeah. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Just keep that in mind. Be good and be true to yourself and you should be fine. But for the most part, remember that this is a business. And any way you look at it, some people may not like you. That's okay, you just gotta do it. Okay. Number four. This is also one of my favorite advices. Are you guys ready for this? This is like a secret. No, I'm just kidding. Be yourself. Did you hear that? Be yourself. Yeah, that's right. Be yourself. Don't look at what other people are doing. That is the worst thing you could do as a blogger, as an influencer, as a YouTuber, 
It is the worst thing you can do. Be yourself. Focus on what you want and be yourself. Talk to the camera the way you talk to the camera. Do things the way you want to do things because people will love you for that and people will see that. There's nothing like seeing through an Instagram or a YouTuber or a blogger and seeing that they really aren't who they are. You can see it, you can feel it. There's like something missing, it's super weird, but people see that. So be authentic and be real because do that, you create a brand. And with that comes the opportunity to create a business. So be yourself. All right, ready for number five, people. Numero cinco. <sighs> Consistency. Consistency. Keeping and being consistent on all the social platforms. So it's your blog. Writing, picking a day to publish a blog post and publish it every single day, every single week that same day, keep that consistency super, super important. Same thing goes for a YouTube video, same thing goes for Instagram, same thing goes for Twitter, same thing goes for Facebook. Everything that has consistency will work. Combine all five things, right? It is a lot of work to be a blogger. So don't think that it's super easy and that it's just posting a blog post and getting it over with. Like there are steps to creating a proper blog post or steps to creating a proper YouTube video. It's a lot of work. There are even steps to posting an Instagram post. It takes me anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes to post one Instagram post. Yeah, I know. Okay, so remember that. Two, it doesn't have to be perfect. It does not have to just get it out there. You are not perfect. You are not meant to be perfect. And nobody really wants to see perfect. They want to see quirky. They want to see funny. They want to see clumsy. They want to see you. So just put it out there. Three, not everybody's friendly. This industry is a business. Remember that. So I'm not saying be mean, be catty, or any kind of things. You shouldn't. But just remember that it is hard. And not everybody's going to help you, unfortunately. But that goes with any business, right? Be yourself. Nobody likes a faker. Nobody likes the people that aren't real. Just be yourself. Be whoever you want to be. You want to be a crazy maniac and like jump out of planes and like, you know, whatever. Man, whatever floats your boat. I don't care. But just be yourself. That's it. And five, the consistency. Keep up the consistency. Posting a vlog once a week, posting a blog post once a week, and creating that consistency will not only up your numbers, but also your audience will love you because you're loyal and they love what. All right guys, so there you have it. Five things I wish I knew before I started vlogging, before I started being a YouTuber, before I started being an influencer. If you're thinking about vlogging or being a YouTuber or being an influencer, comment below. Let me know if you are and think your challenges are going to be and what you're most concerned about. And I'll be more than happy to help. I always am. And guys, if you love this video and you wanna see more of these, give me some thumbs up. Give me some love, please, I want that love. Give me some love, subscribe, share, and comment. Let me know if you like this and you want more of these. Anyways, guys, I will leave you with this. Don't forget to be awesome and don't forget to do what you love. Until next time, lots of love. Mwah! See you soon.